Hi guys. Okay, um, I got some stuff in the mail uh, just recently because the website that I buy all my makeup, well, not all of it, because, you know, sometimes you see something cheap at the supermarket, you have to have it. Um, I buy most of my makeup from this website in Australia called MakeupNet, and they, they're all cruelty-free, vegan, mostly, I believe, but they're all cruelty-free. And so they have just released Morphe's um, individual colours, and so I went and ordered some of them. And, okay, so first of all, I'm not a qualified makeup artist whatsoever. I've only, like most people, just been dabbling throughout life, um, trying to get it right, watching YouTube videos to see how they do it, run doing their tutorials, you know, because some of them are kind of fun. And if you haven't tried it, you should. Um, so anyway, I normally buy makeup palettes based on the colours they have. So, of course, <laughs> I have the Venus palette. Or sorry, the Venus 2 and the Venus palette. Because they had some really cool colours in it. And also I like the brand Lime Crime because... They're cruelty-free and vegan, and also their colours are really nice. I also um, splashed out... Well, this one was from eBay. So you can imagine that it was quite cheap, because it's unbranded. And also... <laughs> you're gonna love this. As soon as I get the dust covers off. It has a lot of colours! Oh yeah! Lots and lots and lots of colours. I probably only use about six. <laughs> okay, I did branch out and use a few more in that video. Well, the video tutorial by um, Claire Max, I think her name is. She's on my page on the side and she's one of the YouTubers that I admire because she does really good... Well, she does um, very kawaii stuff very, I can't remember the term for it, very cute stuff, and she looks fantastic when she does. So, she did a tutorial on how to do an alien look, so I did that, and then I ended up looking like another YouTuber when I put a wig on. Yeah, I'll include a photo in about a couple of seconds if I remind myself. So, back to me. Um, so I buy, you know, palettes and then you start using a few colours and that's fantastic. I also splashed out because in Australia makeup's not exactly cheap. For example, we may pay... Oh god. Um, I had a look at something today on one site and their individual colours was around about $2.30 each. In Australia, we pay four dollars fifty Australian, which is about three dollars something, three dollars thirty something US. There's a bit of a difference, but I guess you kind of, it's the difference between two weeks shipping time and two days shipping time. Yeah, I kind of opted for the two days shipping time because I want it now. I want to play. <laughs> so I also ended up getting few weeks ago, a Morphe palette. This one is the 35S, and it has some awesome colours in it, I can tell you. Again, I don't use all of them, because not all of them suit me, but I play around, so I might get some of the use out of all of these at some point. And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so to me, this is kind of a a luxury spend on makeup. But recently, as I was saying, the makeup site that I get all my stuff from started selling Morphe's singles. And when I mean singles, I actually mean... One second, let me get this out. Come on out, don't break my nail. Just come on out, peace of quiet. Nope, get out. Don't destroy the eyeshadow. Okay, that is a single. So that's one's called Porcelain, as you can see on the back there. 
if I can find you. <laughs> so that oh, focus, god damn you. No, no focus. Well, okay, fine. So that one's called porcelain, and that's a single. This one cost. Um, this is the one that actually costs two dollars something. I think it's two dollars twenty-eight US at the moment from the Morphe Brushes website. I'll put that link below so you can find, go directly to it. And they've got quite a few of these different colours, which is fantastic. I think I might be ordering some soon. Now, if you, you kind of look at it and you go, what am I supposed to do with a single colour by itself? Well, that's when you buy this. This is an empty palette, which has got four colours in it right now. And it's magnetic. So the little pots are all metal. So they stick to the magnetic base which means I can fill this with those cheap individuals that I want to make up my palette, which is really good because I'm going travelling later this year. And also for my cosplay, I can put, I can customise this into the character's palette, for example. So when I'm doing my makeup that day for the convention, I can actually use this and know that, well, I pretty much have to use everything in there. <laughs> I'll show you later about the convention. It's going to be cool, I really hope. <laughs> so, as you can see, I've got a few palettes that, I've, that I have. Um, I've actually got a... <laughs> I've got a makeup case that has multiple tiers in it, so you can just uh, open up the lid and then fold out the two tiers, and then you've got it stacked full of everything. I don't really have... Um, a proper vanity or anything where I'm living at the moment. So I had a look around and I found out that Nick's are doing individual pots, um, Morphe are doing individual pots, Mac is doing individual pots, and um, who else was it? Anastasia of Beverly Hills was doing individual colours. They can range from $2 something American all the way up to about $26 for each colour. Um, if these are colours you get use out of a lot, they're fantastic! And you don't have to be locked into the palette that I have, which is the 15 space palette. I think. No, it's not. It said 15, it might be 12. Can't count. It's 12. So, mine's the 12 space palette. The website where I get my makeup from, they actually have something called Z palettes, and they sell the empty box with the magnetic base. And they also sell metal stickers. So, it, I'm guessing if you get these individual ones and they're plastic um, pans, you can stick this metal sticker on the back of it, and then they'll stick into the Z palette. So then you can have your own custom palette of colours that you use all the time, and when you run out of one, you just pull it out, replace it, get a new one. And I only say it costs you a few dollars. Or $26 if you want the really good stuff. Which I don't know how good it is, because I... Yeah. Poll. <laughs> um, well... Yeah, okay. Um, I probably could maybe perhaps one day buy one and go, it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's my makeup. And all I can say is that I love playing with it. It's good fun. I don't use contour as such, and looking at myself in this video now, I probably forgot to put blush on. Whoops. <laughs> anyway. This is the end of the video, so thank you for watching. And for those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more of me rambling about whatever. And don't forget to hit the like button and comment if you have any questions. And I'll put details of the websites below where I found all these individual things. So thank you for watching. <laughs>